Hi, I'm Darren. And I'm Anthony. And this is another episode of Decoded where we talk about some of the top news in technology. Um, lots of interesting stuff to talk about. We're actually not going to talk about the Electronics Entertainment Expo. There's too no. much to talk about there in one segment. So we're actually going to do a special edition, so please check that out if you want some E3 coverage. But Let's start is, talking about the stuff that's happened this week. There is some non-video game stuff worth mentioning. So let's go ahead and talk about one of the big acquisitions this week, which was Google uh, snatching uh, Skybox Sky Imaging. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who don't know, Skybox Imaging is this company. They've been around for about five years. They make these small, cheap websites websites, no, satellites. satellites, small cheap satellites that basically just do amazing map images. Yeah, you got to check out the website. It's, it's very uh, futuristic. It looks uh, a whole lot like person of interest where they can kind of zero in on you and find you and, and just basically target you. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, I mean, that's obvious. I mean, you, you don't really need to think too deeply about why Google would be interested in something like right, that. Right, they want to update I mean, maps and they want to do other things, but um, they're even trying to do some sort of a communication right. uh, um, or in, disaster relief. In, like in the very small press release that they sent out, uh, they mentioned that, you know, Google, um, they said that they would also, you know, they said over time we also hope that Skybox's team and technology will be able to help improve internet access and disaster relief. Yeah, so, so maybe they eventually we'll get some uh, low cost internet. Right. I mean, we've known that they've been interested in a satellite solution to yeah. providing internet. You know, they have Project Balloon, which mm -hmm. all is, you know, these giant balloons that are supposed to provide internet. They just bought Titan Aerospace, which Facebook was looking into buying, mm -hmm. um, that are these drones that can fly for days and, you know, provide internet in areas. So, yeah. And this was relatively cheap for them. It was uh, 500, 500 million. million, which is. Uh, Two hot dogs and a Diet Coke. <laughs> for, for Google, yes. Yeah. For us, that is yeah, our lives. A, yes, the, I would like <laughs> any of one of those millions. That yes. would be nice. Um, but, I mean, it's just like another, this is just another statement that Google is dedicated to bringing the internet to absolutely yeah. positively everyone. Yeah, so let's talk about another big giant company and what they're doing. It's um, Microsoft is uh, about to take their, their phones and add connect like gestures. I mean, this it. is going to be on their flagship phones. Yeah, on their flagship phones. Um, so, I can do a lot of this on my Android phone already. Uh, so let's see what they, I keep thinking that they really need to concentrate on their OS, so maybe this is their way of saying, okay, we're going to try to uh, fine tune um, the OS on, on the devices. I, I, I do like the tiles. It's sort of still based in Zune land a little bit and I still find it hard to function. So let's see what their gestures right. do. Right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the gestures yeah, themselves. So, I mean, I think this project is named Noculum uh, McLaren right mm -hmm. now, and it's going to be um, on their flagship phones. And what my understanding is is that it, you know it's going to be gestures such as, you know, when you raise the phone up to your, hand, up to, up to your head, mm -hmm. it, it immediately answers. If you put it on the table, it goes to speakerphone. Yeah. If you're laying in bed, it won't auto-rotate. It'll yeah. be able to... But a lot of Android that. phones, like I said, already have that. The M8, I think, already has when you raise your phone, you, you get the answer. I think uh, one of the Samsung phones, when you put it down, can either go to speaker or you can hang up. Um, and there are third-party apps that you can buy on uh, the uh, Play Store that allow me to lock rotation. Right. So, um, and there, there are, there are also, you know, you can do swipe movements to mm -hmm. like clear notifications. Now, there are things that Samsung has kind of dealt with making, you know, that, yeah. the finger hovering over the screen. They've got that. They also have the swipe up and down. They have eye gestures. I mean, some of it works, some of it doesn't. Um, I mean, I think it just comes across traversing that divide of gimmicky and useful. You know, like, yeah, I think it, some of the some of these gestures are really useful. Uh, some of the swipe gestures that are on Android. Uh, work really well, swiping up, swiping down, double tap. Uh, you can assign keys in Android. So hopefully Windows will, will kind of take a look and, and take the idea from there mm -hmm. and go, okay, so we can do this. It's a smart move. Just uh, Microsoft, if you're watching, kind of please keep working on on the OS itself and, and get that uh, fine-tuned. I think they are already working on Good. it. Good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for listening to me already. Uh, that, and that's going to bring us to our last topic, Yeah, right? but the, the, I mean, we, we, I'm obviously... We said that you know E3 is huge, huge conference. We'll be yeah. talking a lot about it in the other segment, but yeah, we'll um, there, there are a few things that we wanted to talk about. Um, mm -hmm. Is most specifically some of the hardware announcements, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to be talking about the PlayStation TV, which was announced during the Sony press conference. Um, this was previously called the PlayStation Vita TV, which was announced in Asia last year, I believe. I guess that's a test market. Um, yes, and, and now it's coming to uh, North, North America, America, Canada, Europe as a PlayStation TV for ninety nine bucks. There's also a one hundred thirty nine dollar bundle that gives you a DualShock three controller, an eight gigabyte card, and the sure. Lego Movie game, I believe. Right. Um, so this is a. But tell us a little bit. 
bit about the yeah, PlayStation. Yeah, so it's, it'll be a competitor to the Fire TV, Roku, and whatever Apple's going to come up with. And, and so now I guess everybody's on the bandwagon making these tiny little devices that allow you to consume your media and play some um, light games. But this is the first, I guess, major game company putting one of these out. So I'll be able to play what? PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, I'll be able to stream uh, Vita content and also stream my PS4 to another room. So that's, that's a lot you're going to get with this kind of device. Uh, I think that's only downfall is their memory cards and hopefully if this device sells well, maybe they'll lower the price because right now you're paying double the price for half the storage. So a 128 gig card right now sells for buck nineteen. And uh, honestly, same thing with 64 right. Gigs. And I honestly yeah. only see this really competing with the Fire TV or Fire TV because Fire TV they have the Amazon Game Studios. They want to you know mm -hmm. do gaming in the cloud and things like that. And it works. And Casual gaming on. Um, on the Fire TV was pretty good, but this is going to have this is PlayStation. I mean, it's going to have all those games. It's not going to have the Amazon controller. It's going to have the Dual Shock Three controller, the yeah. one you're familiar with. It's going to have the games that you grew up playing. It's, yeah. it's going to be, it's it it has the makings to be pretty successful. I think. Yeah, I um, think their Achilles heel is just going to be their memory because you're going to want to consume so many of those old games, and I don't want to have to be deleting and re-downloading and deleting and re-downloading. I want my content. I want to be able to just come home, click, play. Right. So let's, let's, I, I think that I would want one of these and hopefully the memory cards will come down in price. Right. And once it comes out, I'm sure we'll take a look at it and compare them to the other ones. Yeah, eventually they'll what. all come out. So we'll just get a roundup of them and test them all out. Awesome. Uh, so I'm, I'm Darren. And like I said, we got E3 coverage. On yeah, so other... stay tuned for that. I'm Anthony. And, and this is Decoded.